All right, what's up fellow collectors? I'm finally out here back on the hunt after LA Comic Con, Stanley's Comic Con, do whatever you want to call it. Um, so basically, like I said, back here on the hunt, about to hit up a few stores, see what I can find. Um, I'm in a Funko kick right now. And when I say kick, I mean like, do y'all ever have moments where y'all kind of like, or not necessarily moments, but like time periods where you're really craving something, like like as far as food goes. Maybe you're having like a Chinese food kick where you just want Chinese food for a few days or something like that. Well, I have these certain kicks in collecting to where like, um, like for a couple weeks, I might just be really wanting Marvel Legends and really looking at Marvel Legends and all my interest is put into Marvel Legends or, you know, different things like that. Right now, all my interest is in Funko Pops. I'm still off the LA Comic Con Funko Pop high. There's a bunch of pops out there that I need to get that I have not secured yet. Um, simply because I sometimes with Funko Pops, you kind of, they come out, you, no matter how hyped you are for a certain pop, sometimes they come out and you kind of put them off because you're like, oh, I'll get those later. Or I'll get those at this point in time or that point in time. And basically, I've been putting off some of these pops for so long that I'm scared. I'm scared that they're going to just not even be there anymore, which happens all the time with me in the Funko game. So I need to go ahead and secure a bunch of these different pops. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. There has to be at least like, oh lord, like at least 50 pops out there that I really, that I do actually really want that I haven't gotten yet. As far as like Thor Ragnarok pops, I still haven't even like bought Justice League pops like that. Um, still some 90s Nickelodeon pops that of course I need, things like that. So yeah, I'm on a Funko kick right now. I need to secure all these pops. I need to get, I just finished Stranger Things season two. Man, Stranger Things season two is awesome. I'm not gonna say it's better than the first season, but I extremely, extremely enjoyed it. And I really recommend that you guys go watch that. If you haven't seen season one, you need to watch season one. I don't know what your problem is. Then you need to go ahead and watch season two. It's amazing. I'm not gonna spoil it for you here. No matter how bad I wanna talk about it, I'm not gonna spoil it. All right, I'm not gonna spoil it. But if you guys wanna talk about season two, let me know in the comments below. We could talk about it there. But another thing that's really been bothering me lately is like, I live in a place called Savannah, Georgia. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but there's been a lot of violence going on in my city lately, which it's always been a pretty violent city. Um, it's always been a lot going on here. Um, the murder rate is very high down here in Savannah, Georgia. Like, per capita, like, we're right up there with Chicago and, like, Baltimore and stuff. It's just we're in a smaller city, so, I mean, there's less shootings, but per capita, like, you know, per person, or, you know, how, for the population, basically, you know, things happen. An alarming rate down here, and there is a shooting right here today. Right around the corner from my house, one person killed, one person injured, and that's that's got to be um, maybe the tenth person this week that have been killed down here, and a lot of them are my age or younger. Just a couple weeks ago, matter of fact, someone walked into McDonald's in front of everybody, walked into McDonald's and shot a 15-year-old kid right in the face like literally point blank range right in the face and killed him inside of a McDonald's in front of families eating Happy Meals and stuff. And today, right in broad daylight in front of like 30 something people, they shot two people. One of them made it and the other one passed away. Condolences to whoever you guys are and your family. But yeah, the violence down here is just getting real bad and it's just everywhere it's getting worse. And it's really sad. It's just like, man, if y'all would just go, like, I don't know, maybe if y'all had a hobby or just do something. I can't understand, like, I understand, like, if you have to defend yourself and stuff like that, okay. But, like, just taking human life, like, like not even thinking twice about it. It's just getting crazy. But on to, we're going to talk about more happier things right now. I'm on the way to Toys R Us, so 
we shall see what we find once I get there. I don't know what type of shit she been smoking. But she twisted. Oh, she must have got turned up with Gwenpool. As expected, nothing special over here in the pop section. <clears throat> Still contemplating on these Pulp Fiction action figures. Gonzo, I saw this guy right here on sale at Barnes and Nobles for like four dollars, but his arm was broken, so I never bought him. But I would damn near pay full price for that. I also don't mind this little taxi driver zombie. I just wish they were six inch instead of seven inch so they would scale up with the rest of like the action figures people buy. I know all y'all love those alien action figures which I haven't started getting into. I just don't care for them too much. That looks pretty cool though. His head's like busted open. And they got this two pack right here. Seriously though, who the hell would buy a once upon a time action figure? And why? <clears throat> if only, if only these Rogue One action figures would get sold. They're going to have to put these on clearance and look. I guarantee you they still got a dozen Constable Zuvios. Jesus. have the Toys R Us exclusive A-Force set here but as you can see there's like this little security thing on here so I can't open it up and give you guys a good look at the figures. Um, I'm not interested in it but I know a lot of people really wanted this for some reason. Let me have this Black Panther thing. Oh shit. Look what I skimmed right over. Uh, there's a Pizza Spidey back here. I didn't know Toys R Us were starting to get these already. And um, basically when you make a purchase of $25 or more, you get a free Hulk Funko Pop t-shirt, which if you're as big as me, you will not ever be able to fit. But yeah, they have Captain America over here, Iron Man, and Pizza Spidey. And there goes Pizza Spidey in all his glory. I don't know, like, honestly I really like the design of this Iron Man because it looks like an old school Toy Biz type Iron Man toy. No Wolverine and no um, Black Widow though. I'm not sure why people are so hyped up about it but they got this guy over here. I don't know who the hell he is at all but they have him. They still got some NYCC Comic Con exclusives, Dorbs. This is my first time seeing this Optimus Prime. I'm glad I'm not into Transformers or else, I mean, that is a deep black hole to be down. There's just too many of these motherfuckers, man, I swear. And you got the premiere editions, you got Titans Returns, you got the Robots in Disguise, cartoon versions, all type of shit to keep up with. I imagine that puts a hole in y'all's pocket. Not to mention the bigger and better ones down there. Alright, so I'm out of Toys R Us. Didn't pick up anything in there. I did find the Pizza Spidey on the vintage card, which I already have a Pizza Spidey. But um, I definitely wanted it on the vintage card or whatever. 
but it was bent up and I'm not opening these up I'm actually gonna hang them on my wall and I want them in pristine perfect mint condition so I had to go ahead and just leave that behind um I don't know I'll be okay it wasn't worth it if it was gonna be bent up for me but I mean Toys R Us makes me sad every time I go in there because this is like I don't know y'all need someone that's in touch with the toy community to stock up your stores honestly because y'all stock up on so much crap that no one's gonna buy but yet the things that people want you can't find like for instance if I'm keeping stock of the um of the Toys R Us store and I'm in charge of ordering certain things I'm gonna get a lot of vintage cards Marvel Legends because those are gonna sell but instead y'all order megatons of like you know like the the ones that don't have much articulation like the um what five points of articulation like Marvel toys like that are for kids that no kids seem to give a shit about like Jesus um and then on top of that y'all have unlimited amounts of the five points of articulation Star Wars figures yet you don't have any of the new Star Wars Black Series wave like y'all are I don't know you gotta understand like they are just completely and that's part of, part of the reason for that financial problems is that they're completely out of touch with what kids actually want or not even kids but what toy buyers actually want um I don't know about y'all's Toys R Us. I talk about it all the time, but there's hardly ever kids in this Toys R Us. But even even so, it's like, come on, please, somebody, do something. Hire someone that actually knows anything about this stuff, besides just some old guy behind our old woman behind a desk that just orders massive amounts of stuff that people don't want. It's really sad because. I just know they could be doing so much better if they had someone that knew about toys and knew about the demand of toys like in charge or helping them out then they would do so much better on the in sales not to mention I think a lot of the ways that they have like things dis displayed in their stores and the location of certain things leads to bad sales as well but what can you do you just gotta sit there and observe and it is what it is but I don't know about y'all guys Toys R Us but my Toys R Us has yet to even start getting in like the SH figure arts figures I know y'all are like a lot of y'all have sections of like SH figure arts and stuff like that my Toys R Us doesn't even have that my Toys R Us is more old school I guess and it's just sad and even when they do get in like for instance, certain Funko Pops that I know would sell out, you know, that I know would do, they would do good in sales for these certain Funko Pops, they come in totally destroyed, and it's like, you're not going to sell these now. So, mark them down, you know, mark them down and get these out of your fucking store, but they will not mark anything down at this Toys R Us, anything. They finally marked, started marking down some of the Marvel Legends that actually had builder figure pieces missing and i mean marvel legends with a missing builder figure and maybe a missing weapon for like 16 to 14 dollars they still have like doctor strange waves you know for 20 bucks like at some fucking point y'all gotta realize take your losses and get this shit out of your store because it's just sitting here you're not making any money off of it Put it on fucking clearance and sell it. There's no reason why Constable Zuvio should be at any store still for twenty dollars. Like I don't, I'm honestly not sure if you could even sell him for fucking three dollars. But yet y'all got fourteen of them, and you you don't put up none of the new Black series, but you got tons and tons of Constable Zuvio. Like do something about it. I'm sorry, it's fucking frustrating. It is frustrating as hell. Because Toys R Us is supposed to be the place to go for toys. Yet, y'all are losing out because people are going to ThinkGeek and GameStop and all these other places now. 
and even Walmart's doing a better job than y'all. Like, because Walmart knows, and I understand Walmart, you know, has more money and makes more money so they could do things that I guess Toys R Us can't do, but at, at a certain point in time, you gotta cut your losses. Be like, look, these Marvel Legends have been sitting here for fucking three years. No one's buying them. It's about time that we sell them for like 10 bucks or something. You know, all right, these Black Series figures have been here since The Force Awakens came out. The Force Friday before The Force Awakens. It's about time that we cut our losses and go ahead and put Constable Zuvio up for three or four bucks. You know, just fucking do it, please, because I'm so tired of seeing it. It just makes me so angry. But yeah, just had to do that little rant right quick. How, what about y'all's Toys R Us? How is y'all's Toys R Us? Like, do you have a wonderful Toys R Us? Do they keep pretty good stock of stuff? Let me know in the comments below, like, what your Toys R Us is like. Because mine is, I mean, sometimes they have cool stuff, don't get me wrong. But, they could be doing way better. And there's just times where it just, like, today, it's just frustrating because here we are, um, months later, since months after Force Friday, and they don't even have the Force Friday wave in my Toys R Us yet. It's just all Rogue One and Force Awakens site waves. And it's sad, like, come on. Y'all need to do something. And I don't understand why, but it's just crazy, I don't know. And then another thing, um, while we're talking about Star Wars Black Series, that Cherub Enway, Enway, you know, the guy Donnie Yen played, and Baze Malbus, which I have both of them, but why were they like so hard to find? Like, what was the point? I don't get it. I don't know how to explain that. Why were they so limited? Those are like the two main figures that I think everyone would have bought from the Black Series, yet they were so limited. Like, I ran across. Baze Malvis and Chirp Enway and I bought them and then I ran across a Baze Malvis one more time and you guys know how much I hunt and I believe all that was before I even started my YouTube channel but it's like what the hell I don't know maybe they don't want sales or something because I know plenty of people would have bought them they would have bought them more than they would have just bought this Jen Urso and Cassian or whatever his name is but yeah this weekend, actually yesterday, Thursday, the early showing of Thor Ragnarok came out. Um, I didn't go. It breaks my heart inside. Because this will be the first superhero movie that I haven't seen like on a Thursday, early Thursday, in a long, long time. But, it is what it is. I'm trying to save it for Sunday when my girlfriend's off because... My girlfriend watches the Marvel movies with me, you know, but she doesn't always go to the movie theaters and watch them with me. A lot of times I go with my friends, then she'll watch them later on on Blu-ray. But Thor is like her favorite MCU character, so she really wants to see it. So I'm holding, trying to hold it off for Sunday, trying to avoid all spoilers and shit like that. And it is very difficult. I, it's Friday right now. I'm not sure this video will probably be up on Saturday. But it's like, I'm trying to hold myself back from seeing it like twice. Which might actually happen. I'm not sure. Because I really want to see this movie. Um, everything I've heard about it is really good. I was just putting up a bunch of like... Because I keep my Marvel Legends in the box. Don't, don't get me wrong. I take them out, pose them, take pictures of them, you know do all that but then I put them back in the box so last night I was putting up a bunch of Marvel Legends because it just strewn all throughout my toy room and different places so I still got like all my Spider-Man homecoming figures and shit like that and all my Last Jedi Black Series figures all out all over the place so I was putting up some figures then right as I was about to put up like Thor and Loki and stuff I was like wait I can't put these up yet. I'm definitely gonna need these for some shots. Cause after I see Thor Ragnarok, I'm definitely gonna wanna come home and pose these guys and take some pictures for my Instagram. But yeah, so.
sad, sad, sad. But anyway, now, um, in a little bit, I'll be going to Hot Topic. I have some hot cash to spend. All right, so basically right now, I'm on my way to the mall to go to Hot Topic because I have a lot of hot cash. Um, I probably have about I'll say about 16 to 17 hot caches this month. So I'm going to go try and spend a few of them. How do you guys feel about hot cash? Um, well, for us pop collectors, I don't know if you don't collect pops and you might not realize this, but for us pop collectors, we realize that um, Hot Topic is more expensive basically than any other store. Their pops are $12.50. Their mystery minis are damn near like $10. Um, I was actually, before Halloween, I was interested in buying some of the pint size heroes, which I don't buy many pint size heroes, but I wanted some of the horror ones before Halloween. And I go to, um, I go to Hot Topic to buy some, because for some reason it's the only place that has the horror ones in my city. And they were $8.90. $8.90 for a pint size hero. So, needless to say, I said, fuck that. I'm not paying damn near the price of a pop for a pint size hero. But yeah, um, we get hyped up when hot cash comes. When it's time to spend our hot cash, most of us Funko collectors get a good bit of hot cash because, you know, you have to buy some of your pops at Hot Topic, but... It's like, when hot cash comes, they take all the other deals away. So are you really even saving any money? Like just the other day, they had three for 27, three pops for $27 on pops, um, on pops. But yeah, three pops for $27. Now that's gonna be gone and we're gonna have 15 off of every 30 um, at Hot Topic. So. When it's all said and done, it's like, you're not really saving anything. You're kind of getting the same deal, if not of a worse deal half the time. So really is there a point for hot cash? Honestly, I've been having hot cash the last few months and I haven't even spent it. I wound up like giving it away on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, you should go follow it. Funk, F-U-N-K-Y-O-P-O-P -O -P underscore 912. Funk Yo Pop underscore 912. But yeah, it's crazy, really. Because Hot Cash, like I said, when, it, when it's all said and done with, it's damn near pointless. But what can you do? Um, it is what it is. Like I told y'all, I have like, I'm on a kick for pops right now. Like, Every now and then I get in these moods where like, oh, I just want Marvel Legends or I just want Black Series. I just want Star Wars stuff. I just want, you know, Legos right now. Or I just want to buy video games right now, retro games and stuff, or vintage toys. But right now I'm just in the mood for Pops. Um, it's November. And I don't know, just like Halloween, what I was telling you guys before, Halloween season doesn't start in October for me once it's like September like 4th or 5th you know what I'm saying after the first few days of September I'm straight Halloween mode I need two months of Halloween season I don't know about you guys but I do um I have to there's a bunch of Halloween and horror movies that I have to watch every year I have to get out all of the um Nightmare on Elm Streets I gotta watch all the Friday the 13th all the Halloweens you know, plenty of different Halloween specials, and a bunch of different horror movies and stuff that I have to watch every year. And I need damn near two months to get all that, to get all that done. And lo and behold, Halloween, the actual day, has been a letdown for the past few years. Um, kids just don't trick or treat like they used to. And not saying I'm trying to trick or treat, but it's just part of the fun going out and seeing all these costumes and stuff but i went out and saw maybe a dozen people trick-or-treating at the most and like like four or five houses i actually tried to decorate when i was a kid like the streets would be flooded with trick-or-treaters and like there would be people with 
their houses set up special, you know, trying to scare kids and stuff like that. Nowadays, it's just nothing. And it's like really sad, honestly. But yeah, the point is, just like Halloween starts for me in September, Christmas starts for me in November, okay? So, I think today is November the 3rd. And yeah, it is Christmas season for me now. And I'm going after all those Christmas pops. Which they have quite a few out. Um, I really want the Grinch Dorbs ride. I want all the Grinch pops. I gotta get the three Home Alone pops. I just watched, I just sat down and watched Elf. Like, the full movie. I've seen like bits and pieces of it on TV. But I just sat down and watched the whole movie last night. So I do want to get Buddy the Elf Funko Pop. I won't get like the girl or the grandpa or nothing, but I do want Buddy the Elf. And I don't know, I might get Krampus. Krampus is okay. I'm not too big of a fan of Krampus like that. But when I saw the pop and he has like a sack on his back with like a little kid hanging out of it, I thought that was pretty fucking epic. So hopefully you can get that. And I'm still after the Max and Michael Myers costume. And let me tell you guys, last night Hot Topic posted a picture that they got Max in and she'll be in this morning. Now, it's about 12 o'clock now. So Hot Topic's been open for about two hours. And it's hot cast time. And that's a highly sought after pop. So, like from what I seen saw, they didn't have like, you know, like, 15 of them or anything it looked like they had like four of them so i don't know i was supposed to get up at 10 o'clock but i said fuck it and didn't so hopefully i didn't miss out on her because that's definitely one of the pops that i want but we will find out soon enough i am sure and yeah that I mean i can't really think of anything else other than like basically the christmas pops and the max pop but yeah, like I said, Christmas season starts for me in November. And I know there's posts all over Facebook that talk about how the hell are you going to go straight from Halloween on October the 31st to Christmas on November 1st. And I don't know. It happens like that for me all the time. Like, Halloween is the last day I get all that out of my system. I wake up on the 1st. I go out to go toy hunting. Everywhere is in already in Christmas mode. Like... You go to Target and stuff, they're already taking out all the Halloween decorations, putting up all the Christmas decorations. And next thing you know, I'm in Christmas mode. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's definitely an awesome time of the year. It's crazy how different. Like, September and October are so much different than November and December for me. Even though they're back to back. It's crazy because I'm like, I literally go from watching horror movies and just like mind filled with crazy um slasher film murders all going throughout my brain because i'm just watching horror movies for two months straight and then i go straight from that into watching frosty the snowman and like rudolph and shit it's crazy but i think it's needed okay i think it's needed i need to go from watching this crazy stuff to calming my brain down with christmas specials so it actually works out perfectly, I guess, in the long run, if you think about it. But anyway, I don't know how much footage I'll get in Hot Topic, just because, you know, they're usually blaring music really fucking loud in there. But I would definitely show you my haul afterwards, so regardless, we'll see you then. So I'm on a hot topic. Um, as you can see, music was blaring in there. There was no point in really getting too much footage. I had to deliberate. I had some decisions to make. Some tough decisions at that. But overall, I'm very happy with my haul. It's actually a pretty epic haul. Um, I got quite a few things in there. And at the end of this video, I will show you this haul. And I think you guys will be just as pleased with it as I am. But definitely knocked some of the things out that I knew I needed and was going to have to go after. So I'm glad to go ahead and get a lot of those things out of the way. 
and yeah got quite a few things I guess my hot cash kind of did come in handy um and I only used three of them and I think I have about ten left if I have to think about it I'm not sure if I use them all or not but if not I will do a hot tech I will give you know do a couple of giveaways on some hot cash because I know a lot of y'all maybe shop a hot topic and a little hot cash wouldn't hurt nobody but yeah on the way to my next location all right so I'm finally back from hot topic I didn't go anywhere else today but I'm gonna show you my haul I, it's a pretty epic haul First and foremost, let's start off with this. I got the witch from Snow White. I just had to get her because she was super detailed. Um, I like Disney Pops, don't get me wrong. But I probably have less Disney Pops than I do like Star Wars and Marvel and DC and stuff like that. But I had to get her. Please shut up, Piglet. I had to get her because she's just super detailed. Did she even she's holding the apple that has like a skull in it with like green sludge and stuff. The poison apple that she feeds Snow White. Got the bump on her nose. I don't know if she has an STD or like what's wrong with her, but wrap it up, kids. But anyway, yeah, that, it's just a dope pop. I like the Snow White pops. I'm not gonna get all of them, of course, but I'll probably get Grumpy and Dopey so I can have some of the Seven Dwarves. I'm not gonna shell out the money for all Seven Dwarves. Just don't have room and money for all that. But definitely had to get this one. I thought it was a dope piece. So next, I had to get, like I told y'all, I'm in like a Christmas kick. It's Christmas time. Even though it's only November 3rd, I'm already Christmas full gear. So I had to get Max from the Grinch. Now, if they had the Grinch there, I would have got the Grinch. They didn't have the Grinch. All they had was Max. And Max is the Grinch's loyal dog. They did an awesome job on him. You could even see how he has that little one antler attached to the top of his head and stuff. I mean, growing up, I watched the Grinch who stole Christmas every Christmas. So... I mean, this pop was a no-brainer. I had to get it. And I'm really glad to have this. I can't wait to get the Grinch Dorbs ride. And all the other Grinch pops. Hopefully I can find the chase or something. Who knows. But definitely glad to have that. Next, Kevin. Home Alone will always be one of my favorite movies of all time. I have to watch it every Christmas. You have to watch Home Alone 1 and 2. You could forget that all the other Home Alones exist. But Home Alone 1 and 2 are classics. They didn't have Harry or Marv there. Which I was kind of sad about. But I'll get them at a later time. But I'm glad I went ahead and got Kevin out of the way. It's definitely a nice pop. I mean, there's nothing too amazing about it. But it's Kevin. How can you turn down Kevin? Home Alone along with... Um, a Christmas Story, definitely like some of my favorite movies of all time. So really glad they finally made Home Alone Pops. It's been long, long, long overdue. So glad to add that to, to my collection. Next, I got Tom Servo. Now you younger kids out there, you won't know who the hell this is. But my 90s babies, 80s babies, and so on, you will know who this is for sure. Mystery Science Theater... It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody at all. It's basically this guy who sits down with these two robot puppets, watches movies, and they say funny shit during the movie and stuff like that. It's kind of like, you know how they have the commentary on movies, funny commentary and stuff that you could watch on YouTube, but it was before YouTube days. So when I saw they're making pops of this, I got super excited. I'm going to have to get Crow. Crow wasn't there. Tom Servo was. So I had to grab this. It's very nostalgic for me. Not saying it was my favorite show ever, but I remember putting on like sci-fi or just, I can't even remember all the random channels just used to come on. This would just be on TV all the time. Mystery Science Theater 3000. So very glad that I, they made these pops. I, Honestly, this is something that blew my mind when I found out Funko is making these. Because Funko does all the off-the-wall little things that you would never expect. But I definitely didn't expect for them to make this at all. 
Now next, I told y'all, I just got done watching this movie for the first time in like its entirety last night. So I was glad to go ahead and go get Buddy the Elf. He's holding some syrup it looks like. They didn't have the chase version of course or else you would see me with him. But they had Buddy. I was really glad to get Buddy. I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was funny. It's not as good as the Christmas classics that I grew up with. But it's good for newer generations to have something to watch. Um, Will Ferrell. I love Will Ferrell movies. He's fallen off kind of recently. I guess. I don't know. People got tired of like his sense of humor. Or his style of comedy. But growing up Will Ferrell was always hilarious. Gotta love Will Ferrell. All the way back to SNL Saturday Night Live days. Next. I got the Ghostbusters costume Mike. Um, now, honestly, I wanted all the other kids in the Ghostbuster costume more than I wanted Mike. But I realized when I looked through my Stranger Things collection that I actually had less Mike Pops. Well, I didn't have a single Mike Pop, actually. So, I was like, I need to go ahead and get Mike so I at least have one of all the kids. I have multiple Dustins already. And, you know, a few 11s and stuff. So I needed to get Mike. So I went ahead and got Mike. I'm not sure if I will get all the kids in the Ghostbusters costume. But I know for a fact I will at least get Dustin. Because, like I said, I want Dustin everything. He's my favorite character from Stranger Things. He's just in the... I don't know. He's just real funny. And last but not least, I got the main thing I've been after for a while. Which is Max in the Michael Myers costume. The fact that she's in a Michael Myers costume is fucking dope. And I really never thought they would make a pop like this of her in the Michael Myers costume. But they did. I had to have it. Now one thing I can say about Max. Um, I don't... I wasn't like... There's nothing wrong with her character in Stranger Things. But I also wasn't impressed by her at all. I kind of felt like... A lot of times she was kind of pointless to the plot. She was just there and one of the boys would be like, no, you're not part of the crew. You can't listen to us do what we're talking about or see what we're talking about, stuff like that. So a lot of times I felt like she was just pointless in the plot other than just being a female character in the group. But I mean, I guess in the long run, it, it did good for the plot. I'm not, well, let me not even give you guys no spoilers because some of y'all might not have seen it yet. So I'll hold off on talking about this too much. But nothing wrong with the character. I just felt like she could have did more or that the writers could have gave her more of a, more to do basically. But it's definitely one of the dopest Stranger Things pops yet. And I'm interested in seeing like her character in the future. Hopefully they'll do more with her in this next season. And last but not least, I decided to get one of these pint sized heroes, Horrors. I'm going to open it up right now for you, but I will say they're definitely entirely too expensive over at Hot Topic. And I got the last one that I do not want at all. Pinhead. Damn. Now out of everything on here, Pinhead and Cthulhu would definitely be, and Elvira I guess, would be the last ones I want, but of course I winded up getting Pinhead. I guess I'm not too surprised because that's just usually my luck. But I got Pinhead. Oh well, I was hoping for Chucky, Freddy, anyone besides Pinhead. But it's who I got. And it was entirely overpriced. But it is what it is. I had to buy this to round out the hot cash. I wound up getting everything you saw here for like 40 bucks. So not bad price at all. But thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed, then what the, what the hell are you doing? You're missing out on so much. And appreciate the notification squad who hit that little bell and they're notified every time I post a video. You guys are the best. You know, early notification squad. I fuck with y'all to the fullest. But for right now, I'm about to go eat some spaghetti. You have a good day, YouTube.